This week on Zooborns Australia, a first time meerkat mother delivers her first litter before facing unexpected tragedy. Perth Zoo is on a major hunt this morning for a missing meerkat. Excitement is building in the African Savannah exhibit as Perth Zoo's clan of meerkats are expecting a new delivery. Everyone, come on, come on. After only a few months with her new clan, one-year-old Bamba is already pregnant. It is exciting times in our meerkat clan here at Perth Zoo. We are waiting for meerkat babies. The gestation is 10 to 11 weeks, so we're expecting babies to be born within the next week or two. We're not quite sure what to expect with Bamba. She is a first time mum. She has not bred before. She is only over a year old. So we're just hoping that everything goes smoothly and that she is healthy and that her babies are healthy as well. Two weeks later, Bamba has delivered five meerkat babies or kits. I'm very excited that Bamba has had her first litter. It's quite an emotional time for all of the keepers that work really closely with the meerkats. So it's always really exciting and a very happy time for us keepers. The kits will not be able to open their eyes for two weeks and will be completely dependent on the pack to keep them safe and fed in the nest box. You might be able to see the screen behind me. That's just to give mum and her new arrivals a bit of space from our visitors at the zoo. So she has some time to settle in with her new babies without having too much disturbance quite close to where she's given birth. In the two weeks since the meerkat kids were born, the new clan has suffered an unexpected tragedy. Over the last week, we've lost three out of the five meerkits that were born just a little over two weeks ago now. Currently, the two kits that remain are doing quite well, one more so than the other. One of them is very large in size, and the second kit seems to be a lot smaller in size, hasn't progressed as quickly as what the larger kit has. One week later, only one kit has survived past infancy. As a new clan with little experience being around kits, the five adults alternate shifts as Sentinel, the designated member of the group on lookout for predators, to protect their last remaining baby. At 25 days old, the young meerkat kit is finally ready to make the transition from milk to protein. Yeah, he looks like he's trying to nurse, yep. So little babies in the cave. So we might head around that sort of way and I'm going to crouch in front of the cave. I've got a bit of a protein mix for our kit, beef mince with some supplement and some mealworms inside. I'm going to distract the adults with some food so I can hopefully give the kit some protein. He is the kit has reached day 25 and has started eating food, so we want to move it onto protein as soon as we can. So it's a bit of a juggling act trying to get the protein to the kit only without the adults taking it. Look at that, loving that beef mince mix. As the kit builds its confidence with basic skills like eating, it will depend on its mother's milk less and less.
Days later, the zoo makes shocking headlines. Perth Zoo is on a major hunt this morning for a missing meerkat. They announced yesterday that their mere kitten wasn't in the enclosure just a day before it was set to be officially revealed to the public. For more, I'm joined by John Lemon from the Perth Zoo. Good morning to you. Good morning, Louise. Now, you believe it could have been taken or stolen or taken by a predator? Yeah, that's correct. As we know, if it was a predatory bird, obviously that is a natural occurrence in the wild and it's their biggest fear in the wild. Obviously, that's the reason they're on sentinel duty all the time. But uh, if someone's taken it, then yeah, you know, we need to delve further into the, into the matter. After a massive manhunt, the month-old meerkat kit has been found and returned to the Perth Zoo. A baby meerkat believed to have been stolen from the Perth Zoo has been recovered by police. The animal was found last night after officers searched a property in a wheat belt town. When we found out he'd been found it was very exciting and also very apprehensive for everyone because we know that these bubs don't do well away from their mums and so it, there was always that concern that perhaps we might find he was not in good shape and he's still not out of the woods. We've still got to get him back with the group and hope that they accept him as one of theirs and they haven't um, decided to reject him. Grateful zookeepers give the young meerkat a full exam. And after carefully covering him with smells from his enclosure, reintroduce him to the clan. Luckily for the kit, the inexperienced clan welcomes him back into the fold. Love what you see with baby meerkats? Vote for your favorite zooborn of the season and we'll donate 3,000 US dollars towards conservation efforts for the winning species. Next week on the season finale of Zooborns Australia, we check back in with all 11 species featured and tell you how to vote for your favorite.